Hi friends, hi friends, hi friends. Happy Thursday, how are you? I'm so excited to see everyone in the cloud tonight. Let me know where you are watching from. Hi Beth, hi Lindsay, hi Kaylin, hi everybody. Hi Colleen and Melanie's here and Angela's here. It is a party Pe and Pebby's here and I am so excited to see you guys joining us. It is almost summer, I think tomorrow's the official first day of summer. Hello, hi mom, hello Cecilia, hello everybody. And I would love to know where you are watching from if you wanna share that with me. Hello, hi Carolina, hello Lonnie, hi everybody. And I am humbled and so excited as always to see you and be on this wave of momentum with you and getting to connect with you whenever we are together. Ooh, Memphis, Tennessee, hello there. I hope it's not too humid today. And connecting is one of my favorite things to do, whether it's locally in my community or virtually here with you and speaking of connecting my name is Hillary LeMay so if you are new to my channel thank you so much for being here I want to personally welcome you to another throw it out Thursday broadcast in case you are brand new to my channel hello Holly and I am your label reading gangster hostess and together we kick chemicals to the curb right they ha cannot stay here they have got to go hello Sarah hi Joe <laughs> and it is fun and it's simple and I show you every Every time we meet here how to integrate oils into the landscape of your daily routine and most of all for safety for you and your friends and family and so if you are new around here this is your virtual welcome wagon a little huggy for our virtual cozy nook here and I am an essential oil educator. I'm a platinum global team leader and AromaTouch certified practitioner also with doTERRA International. And so I am just tremendously grateful as always that you've chosen some of your Thursday to be with me. And if you're watching after the fact, years from now, or you're watching the replay, whatever day of the week it is, I'm so grateful that you are here. And uh, I like to add as much value to our time together as possible. So you can always catch the replay if you miss anything. Please don't be shy. Feel free to ask questions along the way because your input and your energy makes this what it is and makes it fun and interactive. So um, I, I love that. And if I don't get a chance to answer your question, you can message me after in any of the vor vortexes out there and I will be happy to answer your question. And so I want you to join the dialogue with me and share with me. Drew, the dog bite is feeling sore still. Um, when a dog takes a bite out of your bumper, it does not go away overnight. So if you missed that on Tuesday, I got bit by a dog when I was out running in another neighborhood. So you can catch all the oil protocols that I used there. And I've been oiling up with lots of Copaiba and Heliochrysum and Correctex. And so um, it is definitely not something to take lightly. And our health, as we talk about every time we meet here, is number one of importance. And so we always need to make sure that we seek medical attention when needed and we use our oils to supplement that when we're home as well and to feel empowered immediately. So if you have any questions about what I did to protect myself afterwards and clean the area and um, alert the authorities and everything, reach out to me or you can check my Instagram post as well for that. And um, But I have been running a doTERRA global oil team since 2014 and I have been able to take some horribly traumatic experiences just like a dog bite <laughs> um, and those medical traumas that happened to me in 2014, I've been able to turn that into a purpose and into this this passion for helping people around the world find that grace and find these natural solutions to help support you emotionally and physically and so I love supporting my local community bringing wellness into their space but also bringing you in wherever you are and it's a joy because my oil squad is all over the world and we can't always meet in my living room or my kitchen to get together and talk about oils so this gives me a platform to be able to share that with you and so tonight is all about essential oil safety during the summer months so now that you know you're feeling confident using your oils in effective ways we want to also make sure that you are using judiciousness when you're using your oils outdoors in the sun and this is also one of the reasons that doTERRA is not sold in stores actually um, because it's meant to be shared person to person it's meant to be shared with proper education and proper safety and speaking of safety um, a little segue here Tuesday I had a mastermind meeting and I got to tour the new local paint bar here a few towns over in Leesburg so if you're local to me and you know where Leesburg is if you're in the Northern Virginia DC Maryland area um, they they are going to be offering non-toxic nail polish and non-toxic nail treatments and I am so excited for this because if you guys have been following me for a while you know that Zoya nail polish is my favorite I'm wearing Zoya purity today it's beautiful and white for the summer and Zoya is the only nail polish that I use and that I've been using for almost a decade now 
and I love the shift that the market and that us as consumers are demanding and more people want non-toxic beauty options more people want non-toxic experiences when they go to a hair salon when they go to a nail salon when they go to the dentist's office and so these are all uh, areas where I am incorporating oils into the business owners and the community where I live and it really has been a joyous thing to do this year and, and really elevate my business and elevate other people's businesses in this area and so you all have you know because I've been talking about it for almost a decade <laughs> that um, Zoya is the nail polish that I use and so I'm really excited to be partnering with them because we're gonna be doing events she joined my oil team she, her oils are on the way but I got to tour the construction site of the nail paint bar and see it from the ground up and that's going to be so rewarding and when I go back there in a week or two to see the drywall and all the lights up we're going to do her welcome call and we're going to get her um, going and oiled up and it's going to be really fun to see oils in the paint studio in the nail salon and incorporating manicures and mocktails and um, just as this lifestyle that we live and it's elevating that lifestyle of feeling relaxed and feeling calm and that aromatherapy in these businesses that we're, that we're attending and that we're patronizing so it's really an exciting time and I love keeping you all updated with the neighborhood happenings and stuff so I will continue to keep you updated and especially like Cecilia and for those of you that are in the area um, we're gonna do a friends and family event there where we're gonna test out all the stuff before they open for the public so I'm really excited to invite uh, my oil squad and my locals over there for that and so I just I love working with fellow business owners and women and bringing oils into the hands and up leveling these businesses for these emotional experiences that the clients can feel and it is always really such a high vibe experience and it's an empowering experience to do this locally but then also share with you and that you can duplicate that and you can share that at the nail salons in your town at the hair salons in your town the dentist offices in your town and and the friends and the family that you're spending time with and so um, I've been bringing my favorite recipes my favorite ideas my favorite life hacks um, here on Periscope for you since 2015 and we've covered a lot of ground together and hopefully by showing up each time that we are together you felt inspired to use your oils all through the year um, and even dip your toe into using essential oils in the kitchen or using them in ways that you might not have thought of before and so this is our frequency this is our flow this time right here this space that we've created together in the cloud is an amazing space for us to feel connected and safe and we can ask questions and learn and kind of just unpeel all those layers over time and this platform of Periscope has been around since before Facebook Live, before Instagram Live. And so thank you for sticking with me here. And this, this private space here that we have has allowed me to share my love for doTERRA, my love for wellness living, freedom to connect on whatever we want to talk about. So if there's something that you would like me to do a demo on, I would be happy to do that. And so you'll have to share that with me. And uh, you can go to HillaryLeMay.com if you want to send me a message or ask a question or offer a suggestion or anything like that. Um, and then you can drop me in a little note um, but for now you can click the three little buttons at the bottom of your screen and that allows you to share this broadcast with your friends and followers and uh, then you can tap the screen as many times as you like as well if you would like to send me a little heart and that just lets me know that you are enjoying yourself and having a great time learning with me and if you miss anything youtube.com you can subscribe to my channel and catch up on anything you might have missed since you've been joining me here in the cloud uh, if you're joining for the first time you have 192 periscopes to watch so you have a lot of catching up to do but tonight we're talking all about photosensitivity which is which oils are photosensitive ways to use our doTERRA oil safely this summer as you get out and about so it's gonna be really fun simple we're not gonna make anything we're just gonna really chit chat and so if you have questions let me know put up a one in the comments if you'd like if you think that you can name all the photosensitive oils in the doTERRA arsenal because we're gonna do them gonna walk you through them tonight and the summer months are a perfect time to enjoy the outdoors and it's actually one of the most uh, one of the times of year where doTERRA experiences the most growth and the most momentum because people are traveling they want oils for uh, road trips or to diffuse in the car or uh, mermaid hairspray you know to detangle the hair at the beach or after sun soother if they've been at the beach too long in the sun at the pool whatever it is maybe you've got ear pain from too much water in your ear from uh, maybe being in the pool too much so the summer months really bring a lot of boo-boos scrapes and cuts and things because we're outdoors more and you know we're doing all those things and so especially as newer people are joining doTERRA and joining this momentum with us and there's 7.75 million doTERRA customers in the world like this is not a fad this is not going away oils are incorporating into every 
facet of our lives, like my dentist's office and hair salons and the nail salons, as you can see. So it's really important that we are practicing safety when we're using our oils. And oils can be fun, and oils are very serious, you know, when we're talking about any type of skin irritation. So yes, they're fun, yes, they're simple, but we wanna make sure that we are being really careful as well. And so the summer months are a perfect time to enjoy the outdoors with your friends and family. And lately I've been getting a lot of questions about this topic, about photosensitivity and oils, and I realized that there was time to devote to this entire broadcast just for photosensitivity. So I know many of you are going to be hitting the pool. You're gonna be enjoying the family barbecues. You're gonna be spending time at the lake. You're gonna be camping. You're going to be at the beach and you're going to be using your after sun spray, your bug spray, your anything under the sun spray. You're going to be using all of it. And so you're going to be having your mermaid time, right? You're going to be having that relaxation of the mermaid lifestyle and that salt life. And that's going to be amazing for you. And I want to make sure that your friends and family stay safe and that you're able to use your oils with confidence in the most effective ways possible. So first and foremost, what is photosensitivity? So what does the word actually mean? The word photosensitivity means in a nutshell that you do not want to apply doTERRA's citrus oils or blends to your skin in areas that will be exposed to the sun. And this is a beautiful thing because our oils, it means that our oils are so potent and our oils are so pure. There's nothing else in them. That they are, there are chemical reactions that can happen on the skin as a result of sun exposure with certain kinds of oils. Um, Kaylin, the kind of chapstick that I use in the summer months is doTERRA. And I actually have that right here. I like the herbal. Um, this is my favorite kind and this works really well for me and it matches my earrings so that's a bonus um, but I love the doTERRA herbal uh, lip balm you just don't want to leave this in your car because it'll melt because <laughs> it's coconut oil based so that's the lip balm that I like um, and so we want to use our oils safely and effectively in the summer so the sun is inviting and it's often a boost to go out and get our vitamin D and we're going on a run, we're going on a walk and hopefully we're not getting bit by a dog when we do these things. And for our favorite is citrus oils, we wanna be able to use them but we wanna avoid them when we're going to be out in the sun on our skin that is going to be exposed. So you can apply your citrus oils to your skin that is not going to be exposed. So if you are wearing a t-shirt, you can put your oils on lower in your chest area or in your abdominal area, anywhere that is not going to be exposed to direct sunlight, or you can apply them when you are indoors. Hello from Missouri. And so if you'll notice, you'll never see the doTERRA citrus oils in my zinc sunscreen that I made last year. You will not see, or you, and you have not seen any citrus oils in my bug spray, any of the fourth annual uh, bug spray iterations that I've done over the years. You will not see any citrus oils in any of the sun soother sprays that I make either. So to get a little nerdy, we're gonna kinda dig into some of the science and then we're gonna go over the specific oils so that you have this information handy. And this will be shared with you on YouTube, the replay will be up, I'll share the list on Instagram so you don't have to worry about feverishly writing notes or trying to find it elsewhere. So. When the UV rays, the ultraviolet radiation, which is a form of radiation that makes up about 10% of the sunlight, when that UV radiation comes in contact with particular substances like citrus oils, it can irritate, uh, it can, I'm sorry, it can initiate a series of chemical and biological reactions. And so this immune system reaction is known as photosensitization. So when the citrus oil is on your skin and the UV rays comes in contact with it, you can have an immune system reaction, which is called photosensitization. So some essential oils contain organic compounds known as furocoumarins. Okay, so furocoumarins, you can say that 10 times fast, furocoumarins, and that makes up people's skin, that makes people's skin a little bit more sensitive to the effects of UV radiation, and everyone's body's different. This is why we talk about bio-individuality, because everyone's body is different, and that comes into play, and that's one of the reasons I always say, you know, everyone's different, it's important to trust your inner wisdom and do what feels good for you. For example, lavender may be really calming and really relaxing for you. Lavender may make the person next to you a little bit agitated and hyper and not necessarily something that they would go to for relaxation. So the reason that we react differently to different oils is just due to bio-individuality. And so when photosensitive skin is exposed to UV radiation, it may 
cause the formation of free radicals, and we don't want free radicals because that causes damage to the cellular membranes, the organelles and the proteins and all of that. And so that's one of the reasons we want to use DDR prime. That's one of the reasons that we want to use frankincense every day because those oils are going to be able to uh, repair any cell oxidation or any cell damage. So the D DR is damaged DNA repair. The DDR prime blend has frankincense in it. So you start to collect, you start to connect the dots here a little bit and you can understand why some of these protocols that we do every single day are to protect us at the cellular level because we are out in the sun when we're driving, when we're walking the dog, when we are playing with the kids out there, when we're going to get the mail. So that's just normal and to be expected. But this can result in temporary darkening of the skin pigment and it can also create irritation like a sunburn. So think of this like you're, you can get a sunburn quicker if you are applying citrus oils to your skin and then you are being exposed to the UV rays. And this also applies to tanning beds as well, not just the sun, but any UV radiation. So skin hyperpigmentation is not fun and uh, it will take a very, very long time to uh, reverse if it if in your case it will not it doesn't always reverse um, most people get it on their cheeks the bridge of their nose their forehead their chin above their upper lip um, it can also appear on other parts of the body that get a lot of sun like the forearms or any of the neck area and it's usually um, skin pigmentation is caused by either pregnancy hormones or sun damage again if you're outdoors and you're not wearing sunscreen for prolonged periods of time or you're using photosensitive oils on your skin when you are out in the sun. So uh, be sure, be sure, be sure that you are using a SPF on your face. And again, this is my favorite. This is the crunchy sunlight. And this is a really lighter version that rubs in really well, but it's also um, got the zinc oxide base of 15%, which I really like. So this is the version that I showed in a couple periscopes back for um, your face. And then for the body, for your arms and legs and everywhere else, the Goddess Garden is the brand that I like. And this is non-toxic sunscreen. It doesn't have any citrus oils in it, thank goodness. And this is one of my favorites. So you wanna be very careful. You wanna be using um, the protection every single day. Even if it's cloudy, even if you don't see the sun, you wanna make sure that you're protecting yourself. Um, but you can also use doTERRA Skin Brightening Serum to help you, which is really cool. This is the Skin Brightening Gel. And um, it's really neat and it comes in this little kind of push pop type of thing and this is the little disc up here and you press your thumb in here and then the product comes right there and you just dab it over any of your hyperpigmentation areas and over time with consistent use you will see those areas start to lighten up so you want to be careful you don't want it to get to the point where you have dark spots on your skin because you were not using caution so um, and of course, if you're using drugstore cosmetics or drugstore skincare items, there could be citrus extracts in there like vitamin C, Serums and vitamin C potions are very popular now because they are intended to brighten the skin. But the problem is if it's not labeled properly, that it is not safe to be using when you are exposed to the sun, then here we are and your skin is damaged. So we wanna try to, to eliminate that before it happens. Um, and so the more extreme exposure to the sun with citrus oils and your skin could even cause even more damage like hives or actual chemical burn type of reaction. So if you experience a chemical burn on your skin, if you experience this type of thing, then you want to make sure that you are hydrating the skin with either fractionated coconut oil or vitamin E oil or carrot seed oil or a carrier oil until you can get out of whatever situation you're in. You can hydrate your skin and you can start to repair that from the inside out. So which oils should we be sure that we do not apply to exposed skin before we head outdoors? So we're gonna dig into that, okay? So these are the photosensitive oils. And um, it's really important for safety and convenience of the 7.75 million doTERRA customers out there. And all of us, all of you, all of me and all of my oil team in my area and beyond, that those of you that are yet to join, that you're comfortable and confident with this 
with the fact that doTERRA has gone above and beyond to keep us all safe with the way that they label the oils. So you don't have to actually memorize this. The beauty is that doTERRA has done this safety measure for us. We just need to flex our label reading gangster muscle. Look at that, ooh yeah. We gotta flex our label reading gangster muscle. You can see that I've been doing that a lot. And uh, we can look at the, blot at the bottles of our oils and be able to tell exactly which ones we need to practice caution with in the sun. And so for example, the bottle of lemon here that I have, I don't know if you can see this, but it says avoid UV rays for 12 hours after applying this product. So right there on the label, you just have to flex that label reading gangster muscle and you will be feeling confident and feeling fine that you do not have to memorize this list. Simply make sure that you are reading the label like a good label reading gangster would um, before you are gonna use it topically. So we're gonna go through the oils and we're gonna go through the blends. And tell me in the comments if any of these surprise you because some of the blends actually surprised me, uh, believe it or not. Okay, so the first one is bergamot. So we've got bergamot here. And this is like a kind of like a lime, sort of a limey, orangey citrus. The next one is grapefruit. Okay, so we have grapefruit. The next one is kumquat. Now this was a limited oil in one of the Mother's Day kits, so you might not have this if you're a newer oiler. The next one is lemon, of course, the most citrus of them all. Next, lime. Of course, it's always lime time, but not when you're gonna be in the sun. And the next is tangerine. Okay, tangerine and wild orange. So these are the individual oils that you should not use topically or anywhere that is on exposed skin before you are going outside. Okay, so we're gonna rewind these. Bergamot, grapefruit, kumquat, lemon, lime, tangerine, and wild orange. Okay, so these are the single individual oils. Then we are gonna shift into the photosensitive blends. Okay, so we have quite a few, okay? We've got, breathe, not that one. We're not gonna start with that one. We're gonna start with Aromatouch. Where's Aromatouch? Where did my Aromatouch go? There it is. Okay, so we have Aromatouch because Aromatouch has grapefruit. Did you know Aromatouch had grapefruit? It is not an oil that I realize or smell when I think of Aromatouch. And I, when I was researching doing this, uh, my notes for you, I had totally forgotten that Aromatouch has grapefruit in it. So again, if you want to make sure that you don't feel nervous or concerned, you just simply wanna be a label reading gangster and look at the side of the bottle because Aromatouch contains grapefruit. So again, doTERRA's done all the work for us. This is not fear mongering, you don't have to be afraid, I don't want you feeling uncomfortable. It's about the knowledge, it's about education, right? So we're dropping the education bombs on you tonight. This is really, really important. So if you are gonna give an Aromatouch treatment to someone, and you're doing that during the day, make sure that they are not wearing a tank top or that they are you know, just practicing um, judiciousness like that they shouldn't go out for the pool or out to the beach after an aroma touch. Um, I normally give aroma touch at night because I feel like it's a little bit, it's so relaxing that you just kind of want to go home and go to bed afterwards. So aroma touch because of the grapefruit, okay? And if you, again, if you forget, if you lose your way, it's okay, don't feel scared. You just look at the side of the bottle and you practice that label reading gangster muscle and you're okay and you will come back home to that. The next one is breathe. This is our respiratory blend. Okay, and the reason that Breathe is photosensitive is because it has lemon. Now, again, I use these oils all the time. Breathe is an oil in Olivia's nighttime diffuser blend and our diffuser blend at night every single night. And I totally did not remember that lemon is in Breathe. So if you were surprised, let me know in the comments because I was totally surprised that lemon, that Breathe is in, uh, that Breathe has lemon. I just don't smell that first when I think of Breathe. Yep, so Breathe has lemon, so you do not wanna be using this before you go outdoors as well, okay? And especially if you are putting on a Breathe stick. So if like your kiddos have a little summer virus and they're coughing a lot and you tend to just sort of like, you know, swipe around their neck um, with the Breathe stick, be sure you do that down their spine where it's covered by their shirt or down their feet where they're covered with socks. Okay, the next one is Cheer, okay? Now Cheer, you can sort of Imagine because cheer is like sunshine in a bottle. It's very uplifting. So you think, okay, well, citrus oils, because of what we know, is um, uplifting. And so it would have citrus in there. So cheer has uh, wild orange. So that is the reason that cheer is a photosensitive oil. 
And when we're talking about the photosensitive oils and the blends, that also means the touch rollers. Okay, because just because they're diluted with fractionated coconut oil doesn't mean that it's not still a concern because it's diluted, but it's not, I mean, it's, it's still got that citrus oil in there. So any of the emotional roller, emotional oils have emotional, uh, have the emotional roller blends. Let's see. Joe is saying, is it safe to diffuse these oils prior to going out in the sun? Absolutely. You can diffuse, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Absolutely. You can diffuse anything you want to, as long as it's not topically on your skin. If it's in the air, it has no bearing on your skin, so you're fine. Okay, so cheer. The next one is Citrus Bliss. And, of course, Citrus Bliss, you can imagine, it has all the citrus in there. So Citrus Bliss is one that you do not want to use when you are going out in the sun. The next one is Clary Calm. And... Clary Calm has bergamot in it, so you do not want to use this before you go out in the sun. Okay, and the next one is Forgive. So just like with Cheer, Forgive comes in a touch roller form as well. So we want to practice caution when we're using Forgive, because Forgive also has bergamot in there as well. Okay, Forgive is the renewing blend, so you can use all the emotional oils that you want. You just need to practice caution when you're using them before going outdoors. Okay, the next one is Elevation, which of course, also sunshine in the bottle. Joyful blend, you can imagine there's citrus in there because it's got tangerine. So Elevation is one that we do not want to use in the sun. Okay, next is Motivate. And Motivate has Clementine. This is the encouraging blend. So again, just like with Forgive, just like with Cheer, when we've got these emotional blends, they also all come in emotional roller blends. And so we do not want to use these when we are out in the sun. So even though they're diluted with fractionated coconut oil, that does not mean that the citrus is not still super effective for elevating your mood and supporting your emotions, but we don't want you having any photosensitive reactions when you're outdoors. Okay, the next one is On Guard, and of course On Guard has our wild orange in there. So wild orange is a citrus, and we do not want to use On Guard on our skin topically. So every single day, we put a, a roller bottle, we have it with On Guard and Melissa, and uh, I can't remember what else is in there. Frankincense, I think On Guard, Frankincense, and Melissa in Olivia's immunity roller that we use every single day before school and before bed, down her spine and her feet, because there's no concern about photosensitivity at all even in the winter months, because the sun's still out in the winter. This is not only for the summer, technically, but people are spending more time outdoors and you're wearing less clothing, like tank tops. You know, you're wearing tank tops in the summer and more skin is exposed, so we want to be extra cautious. The next one is Intune. So this is the Focus Blend and this blend. Now, also, what's really important to know is that even though this is in a roller, it's not in a touch roller, so it is not diluted. So it is actually full strength. Intune does not have fractionated coconut oil in it, and this has lime. So maybe that surprised you. Let me know in the comments if it surprises you that Intune has lime in it. Again, this is an oil that you do not want to use topically when you are going out in the sun. The next one is Purify, and Purify has lemon and lime. So we do not want to use Purify, the cleansing blend, when you are going out in the sun. Yeah, Beth, Intune would never have smelled lime in there. I when, when I smell Intune, I think of patchouli and juniper berry, I don't think of lime. So it's really interesting that some of those um, more strong notes of an oil blend are what really sticks out to you and then you don't see what's in the background of those blends. Yes, so Purify is the next one. This has lemon and lime. Now the next blend is Slim and Sassy and Slim and Sassy has grapefruit and lemon. So it's got two oils that are photosensitive. So you don't wanna use Slim and Sassy uh, on any skin that is exposed to the sun. And then the last one is Zendocrine. And Zendocrine is our detox blend and this has tangerine in it. So if any of these surprise you, again, let me know um, in the comments if you would like. Now general oil safety. General oil safety, always check the label. Practice flexing your label reading gangster muscle. If Mama Hilsey tells you one thing, it's to flex your label reading gangster muscle and read the labels, okay? Because it will tell you for every single one, avoid UV rays for 12 hours after applying this oil. And that just means topically. It doesn't mean internally you can put this oil in your water and it doesn't have the same effect. It's just simply the chemical reaction that happens, the immune system reaction when the photosensitive, when the UV rays comes in contact with the oil on your skin. Okay, so that's the only concern there. 
So each oil has its specific directions for use. Uh, and it will tell you if you can take the oils internally. It will tell you if you um, need to practice caution when using these oils topically in the sun. So look at the labels, follow the direction closely, especially for our new oilers, especially if you are using oils for the first time. Like On Guard may surprise you if you've not familiarized yourself with the blend because it is spicy. You don't necessarily smell wild orange, at least I don't, when I smell On Guard, Wild orange is not what I smell. I smell cinnamon and clove first. So, and a little bit of the rosemary. So, especially when you're getting to know your oils and if you are a leader and if you're sharing oils with people, you wanna be really certain that you are practicing caution and sharing and educating the people that are coming to you for a resource, that are coming to you for education, making sure that you are communicating this really effectively to all those people. It's really, really important. Okay, and so many of the warmer oils like peppermint or oregano, they need to be diluted with a carrier oil so they don't irritate your skin. Now, it has nothing to do with the sun exposure, but those oils are a little bit warmer and hotter. So even though peppermint has a cooling effect on the skin when you apply it, and it's common to wanna to put peppermint on after you've been out in the sun, you just wanna dilute it so that you're safe. So for example, like you can use the peppermint touch roller or just make a simple roller of peppermint like I do. I leave this in our pool bag. And so after the pool day or on break, you know, we can just roll this on in our palms and kind of pat it along our neck and shoulders and on our legs if we need a little bit of a cool down. But you just wanna practice caution with making sure that it's diluted the way that you want it to be. Um, and then of course, for convenience and streamlining life, many of doTERRA's popular oils, the top nine, are pre-diluted with a carrier oil and they're part of the touch line. But have you ever wondered why lemon is the one, the 10th oil, and the one that is not in the top nine of the touch roller? It's because it is photosensitive. And so it's the one that has citrus that you don't wanna be using topically. So just keep that in mind. And of course, On Guard, even though On Guard does have the wild orange, um, it's really meant for like down the spine and the feet and cleaning the hands. It's not an issue when you're putting the oils in your hands. And so it's because it has a highly photosensitive property that it shouldn't be applied liberally without caution and education. So that's why lemon, if you want to know some trivia, that's why lemon is the number 10. And the reason that it's not in the top nine touch rollers is because it is a citrus oil. So although doTERRA oils are extremely safe, and you very well know that all oils are not created equally, you absolutely never, ever, ever want to consume or take internally a non-doTERRA oil. On the label, you will see clearly not for internal use. When you buy oils from Walmart, when you buy oils from Bed Bath & Beyond, when you're buying oils from random places on the internet, uh, even health food stores, even Wegmans and Whole Foods, unfortunately, they sell synthetic oils. And when you pick up a bottle of the now brand lemon oil or peppermint oil or lavender oil or wild orange oil, and it says 100% pure and whatever, as we've talked about several times in the past, when it says not safe for internal use, well, if it's lemon, if it's pure lemon, if it's pure lemon, if it's pure wild orange, I could take an orange off of a tree and eat it without harm. I could take a lemon off of a tree and eat it without harm. So why can't I consume a natural, pure, organic oil if it's real? Well, it's not real, it's synthetic. And so again, this only applies to doTERRA oils. I am only speaking about doTERRA oils. I can only vouch for doTERRA oils. So I, with safety and with confidence, have been in using these oils internally, using the, these oils topically on my skin, using these oils aromatically since 2014, and I have no complaints. There are lots of doctors all over the world, including doTERRA's medical panel, and there's lots of anecdotal research, evidence-based, articles all over PubMed that show the efficacy of taking oils internally and safety. So it's just a matter of quality and you do not want to be using oils internally or on your skin that are not pure oils. That If there's synthetic material in there, all bets are off. No idea what that's going to do to your skin. No idea what that's going to do inside. So I don't recommend that at all. So Carolina is asking, would you say On Guard hand sanitizer is diluted enough with other stuff to be okay to use outside? So the hand sanitizer is meant for your hands, right? So you're spraying your hands and then you're wiping it down and it's absorbed because it has alcohol in there. So it's drying out and you're fine. Unless you're gonna be walking around like this, you're totally fine using the On Guard hand sanitizer. And we've been using it since it came out, I believe two years ago, and my hands have never been burned. And I use it every single day and Olivia uses it every day and our family and friends use it all the time. So never an issue there. And 
we're going to talk about that in a second as well. So, um, but but there are never there are also no uh, there are non DoTerra oils that should never ever be consumed under, under under any circumstance. So you might go to a store and see oils that are not part of DoTerra's arsenal and might go, well, that looks cool because it's not an oil I can get from DoTerra, so maybe I'll get that. Well, an oil like sassafras should never be used because it has a high level of saffron, which is a constituent that has been demonstrated to be carcinogenic. So we don't want carcinogens. Those are bad, bad, bad news, right? We don't want to oxidize our cells to free radicals. We don't want to expose ourselves to carcinogens. We don't want that. We don't want our cells to be oxidized. We don't want our cells breaking down. We don't want that at all. So uh, other oils with high levels of carcinogenics um, like calamus, yellow camphor, brown camphor, and wormwood. So those oils are oils that doTERRA does not make, doTERRA will never make, and you don't want to get those from anywhere. So if you're seeing those oils, you want to just run the other way. So it's an important thing to be aware that there are other varieties of camphor that are totally fine, particularly white camphor and other non-carcinogenic types of camphor like that you'll see in the deep blue blend. So you're all good there, but specifically sassafras oil, uh, calamus, yellow camphor, and brown camphor, and wormwood. No to the no to the no. You want to kick those to the curb. And then storing your oils safely. So it's important to store your oils safely, of course. And then with school out, your kids have been spending more time at home probably. Maybe they've been having friends over and maybe their friends are not that familiar with doTERRA. Maybe their friends don't know how to properly use oils. Your kids do because they see you and you're using oils together and you know it's a family experience when you're oiling. I mean, Olivia puts on her own oils at night and in the morning and it's just part of the routine. But if your kids' friends are coming over and they don't know how to practice safety with oils, then it's very important to have those conversations. So you wanna keep your oils in a safe place out of reach of the children. So in our home, if you've ever been to our house, you will see that we've got sets of emotional rollers that are diluted already by the front door and a set of emotional rollers and emotional and uh, roller remedies like the Band-Aid blend and uh, like an immunity blend and a seasonal blend and all that stuff. Those are right by the mudroom entrance to the garage. So when Olivia is coming in and out, if she's scraped her foot or you know has a boo-boo or something when she's playing outside, it's right there at the ready. Those are pre-diluted. Those are safe for kids to use. Good to go. All the other oils that I have are in a cabinet where Olivia cannot reach even if she is on a stool. So especially just because oils like oregano, maybe hot or peppermint, you know, we don't want anything like that. But she respects oils. We have an understanding and she's learned and it doesn't, it's not something that she's curious about because if she's curious about it, she'll ask me and we play with oils together. But all of them are safely diluted that are within range of the kids having access. So it's a great thing to include your children. If you are just getting started into oiling, bring your kids involved, getting them around the table with you, letting them help you unbox your oils every month your wellness box arrives. It's really critical that they be a part of the learning so that you can help share this with them. So you can watch this together with them. That's why all of my periscopes are rated G and we don't say bad words and we try not to have any really bad innuendos or anything because I want you to feel confident that this is a place where you can watch the videos with your little ones and and as they get older, you can share with them these experiences and these ideas and this education so that if you're not getting that from whoever brought you to doTERRA, that you're getting it here. And there's lots of other leaders out there that are sharing great quality education. So this is something really important that I want you to get your kids involved. Make them their own blends. Let them be a part of the magic with you. Let them smell the oils and let them... Um, add the drops to the roller bottle and let them add the dried flowers and let them put the stickers on and let them put the stickers on your new oils when your box arrives and let them smell the oils and see what resonates and see what they feel drawn to. And a great way to include your children is to let them pick the oil that they're going to diffuse. Let them help you mix the blends and try new diffuser combinations and making non-photosensitive perfumes. So having them come up and mix some oils together for themselves will help them feel empowered. And any uplifting or calming scents that fill your home can contribute to keeping the positive atmosphere that way. And then your kids feel excited about oils and they feel like it's a, a family thing that you're including them in the joy that you're experiencing. So um, to use your oils safely in the summer, like I said, the another perfect example is peppermint touch roller, making a roller bottle of peppermint that you can use to cool down. So you're not thinking of a citrus oil to go to that might burn your skin. Um, now spearmint, 
and wintergreen are other favorites that you can make into like a little spray bottle maybe um, you know with your peppermint your wintergreen maybe your spearmint you can make a little cool down spray or cool down roller bottle and these are totally fine to do now if you're using doTERRA rollers as perfume with any citrus oils what you can do is apply to diffuser jewelry that's not going to actually be covering a large surface area of your skin so for example this is my little mermaid lava rock diffuser and you can see the little mermaid here and then she's there's got a little black lava rock there and I also have a couple different jewelry pieces of diffuser jewelry so this is a lava rock bracelet okay and so what you do is you would just apply either a roller or a drop of oil directly to your finger or directly to the lava beads and you can get these on Amazon or Etsy lots of places now this is a uh, fabric one this is suede and so the material holds on to the oils and then when you know your arm passes by your face or you smooth your hair back you're getting the benefits of those oils um, and then this is another like a chakra bracelet that I got um, from an artisan I think locally and this has all of these beads are lava rock beads so they're porous and they're gonna hold on to the oils so they're gonna keep that aroma going for you throughout the day so diffuser necklace diffuser bracelet um, anything like I've shown also when I made the bug spray you can use the leather jute bracelets that uh, are available on Amazon you can get these through my Amazon favorites and uh, these are great because they're they come in adult sizes or kids so and they come in all different colors men for girls whatever suits you whatever color is something neutral to go with your outfits so if you want to put oils on your kiddos for camp or put oils on your kiddos for you know whatever they're doing this summer you have so many options to use um, you can also apply your oils at work or you can apply your oils when you get to an event if you're going somewhere but you're going to be outdoors or taking a walk to get there or whatnot so you can always put your oils on once you've gotten somewhere that you're going to be and you're going to be indoors for the duration of a, of a period of time you can go ahead and put your oils on any way you like you know wild orange in here and on your neck and on your chest and on your arms or some lotion with citrus oils you can have total creative freedom when you are not going to be exposed to the sun and then a great life hack is the palm balm. So you'll take an oil, like for example, we're gonna do a palm balm with wild orange. Now, usually I like to do it with wild orange and peppermint, but it's getting later in the evening and I don't really wanna feel um, like a high energy <laughs> before I'm getting ready for bed, but we're gonna do a palm balm with wild orange. So you just take a drop of your citrus of choice or whatever you want and you warm it up in your hands and then you take three deep inhalations and you cover your nose and mouth. and it smells so good and uplifting and it's awesome and so this is what I call a palm balm now the nice thing about this is the oils in your palm and again unless you're walking outdoors like this for a long extended period of time you have nothing to worry about about using oils in your palm at all for that it's an emotional experience if you want soothing or calming or relaxing and you don't have to worry about any concerns about the photosensitivity when you're doing a palm balm so um, again you just take an oil put it in your palms and you just take a couple deep inhales now normally I would put that on my neck and and like on my arms and on like this and kind of go over my diffuser jewelry but if I'm gonna be outdoors I'm not going to do that okay and so many ways to customize so many ways to choose your own adventure now last but not least diffusing as I think Carolina said or someone else had commented diffusing is a great way to enjoy oils any other time it's a no-brainer way to enjoy your oils hopefully you can see that mist right there this is a Stadler Mia she runs 10 hours and I love this so if you need one of these you can hit up my um, Stadler coupon code EBO and you can get this anytime you want for 25% off um, and you can get the link to that in my Instagram bio or on my website hillarylemay.com and if you are in your car if you're out on your deck on your patio by the pool in your office in your kitchen in your bedroom wherever your oils are you can enjoy them outdoors they're not going to be exposed to your skin they're they're atomized in the air with water and then that mist is evaporated into the air so it's not landing in large quantities or high concentrations on your skin so you have nothing to worry about if you want to diffuse oils for uplifting mood emotional support on your deck or patio you can do so freely without worry whatsoever so 
speaking of easy, when you are ordering your monthly wellness box with doTERRA this month, if you haven't already done so, you get to pick what goes in there, which is really cool. Not like any other wellness box I've ever seen where they just randomly send you stuff and most of the time you're like, what is this? I'm never going to use it. And you stick it in a drawer or you throw it away. So you get to put whatever you want for your family in there. And it lets you be in the driver's seat, which I love. And then when your order qualifies this month, you're gonna get three free oils. So if you have not already done your order, you definitely want to because you're gonna get Aroma Touch for free. You're gonna get Balance, the grounding blend, and this does not have citrus, so you can use this with Reckless Abandon, Balance. And then you're gonna get Past Tense, which is the Tension Blend, which is so awesome, and I love this so much. So there are three, these three oils are gonna be free this month for you. So it's a perfect time when you spend $200 on your order. So whether you get started with one of my favorite kits, the Home Essentials Kit, comes with the top 10 oils, and it comes with a diffuser, and you get all three of these free just for July, or just for June. So this is a amazing summer taming the tension trio. So whatever summer tension that you're experiencing, these three together are gonna be rocking and rolling for you. And um, balance is the grounding blend, like I mentioned. So we use this every morning as perfume and you can start the day off on a good foot with this. And again, because this is not photosensitive, you can have total joy and freedom to use this on your diffuser jewelry or make a perfume spray out of this. Um, now Aroma Touch is an amazing oil for pain and for soothing and it's in the Aroma Touch technique and um, also balances in the Aroma Touch technique too. But this is an oil you're going to really love for like taking a magnesium bath with some bath salts for calming. And then Past Tense is the tension blend for head tension, neck tension. If you uh, grind your teeth at night or clench, you can roll this along there. If you have migraines or you get head tension, you can roll it anywhere along your neck and shoulders and back area not photosensitive you don't have to worry about that and then if you are ready to dig into oils and you want to learn more about this and you want to bring these oils into your life safely and effectively of course I would love to bring you into our oil tribe and when you get started with me you have all access for to all the archives of all the videos all the research all the posts all the education all the information all the replays from everything I've done since 2014 everything in one place for you to find Workshops, classes, tutorials, resources, tools, education, support, one-on-one -on -one time with me, everything. We, we do that virtually if you're not local to me. If you're local, I like to do our welcome call and our um, you know welcome meeting in person just because it's really nice to, to share space together if you're local. But if you are not local, we do it all over video conference. So it's just like we're having tea like, like now and we're able to connect and um, talk about your needs and you can tell me a little bit about your health challenges and what you want to do with oils. And so you get to experience all of that. So reach out to me from my website, hillarylemay.com, or you can reach out to me in any of the vortexes, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, email, YouTube, you name it. Um, and hopefully you have started to see how versatile these oils are, how fun these oils are. Knowledge really is the key to freedom, and I want you to enjoy your oils without concern. Um, and Beth is saying she loves balance on the back of her neck and the base of her skull. It is such a great oil. It's so grounding and peaceful and I, I really love it. And so again, knowledge is the key to freedom, right? So now that we know we can protect ourselves and we can enjoy our oils without concern because we don't have to freak out. We don't have to go, oh my gosh, where's Hillary's post? Where's the list of oils? I got to tack it up on my fridge somewhere. I don't know what to do. You don't have to do any of that. doTERRA has taken the work out for you and it's on the label. So have no fear and you have no farther to look than the oil itself before you use it. Just make sure that you familiarize yourself with whether it's safe or not to use before you go out in the sun. So thank you as always for holding space for me. That is a wrap on the 192nd Periscope broadcast. I hope you will tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you try any of the recipes you've seen on here in the past. Um, revisit the archives if you're new around here. I love seeing what you're up to with oils. I love being inspired by you as always. So I will see you on July 1st for the new specials of a new month. And then I'll see you again on July 11th for our next Periscope broadcast. So I hope you guys have a wonderful start of your summer and I will see you in a couple weeks. Have a great weekend, everyone. Love you guys so much.